These is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Ugh. I freaking love that song. I freaking love Cardi B and I freaking love you guys. So, hello. What's up kids? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm obviously not Cardi B, I'm Amber, but today we are going to dress up like Miss Cardi because her style is just so outrageous. I am obsessed with it. You guys know I love being extra and Cardi is like the queen of extra right now. Look at this outfit she was wearing. Ah! Oh, I die. So today in my usual broke bitch fashion, I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate the look for cheap. So without further ado, here we go. Making Queen Cardi's clothes. Signature broke bitch style, of course. I love this feather. go ahead and get started now usually it's so interesting I would go shopping and like show you where I got everything but this time I got everything online so here are the materials for this project can you guess that feathers are one of them they are Alrighty, so first you can see Cardi's look here. Oh my God, I'm just obsessed with this. You can see it's kind of actually like a purple blazer suit with a bunch of what looks like feathers sticking out of it. So I went ahead and got my own version of the base here for our outfit. This is a little dress I got on Pretty Little Thing. You saw me wear it in um, my royal family lookbook. So if you wanna see videos like that and others, make sure you subscribe to the channel for lots more glorious content. But uh, for now, back to our little outfit. And see, we've got that right there. Of course, we've got some phantasmic feathers because I mean, well, obviously we need some feathers. I went ahead and got pink ones because I just prefer pink over purple personally. So we got some pink feather reaction. To be honest, I don't really know what else we're gonna need for this project, but for now, we're gonna go with this. So there we go. And now we're going to get started. <laughs> Did I mention I have literally no idea how I'm gonna do this? Well, I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but you know, do I ever? No, so here we go. Let's just uh, get started. <laughs> So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and you can see the dress that I got before here. It's just kind of a little ill-fitting and Cardi's is a little more tight-fitting. So I'm gonna wanna make this fit me a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use good old-fashioned needle and thread to go ahead and kind of stitch the back together like this. So you can see if I kind of fold it inwards like that and sew that together. When I flip it right side out again, it's going to have just basically an extra seam and fit a little tighter. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see it's a quick, easy fix to make it just a little bit more saucy. So next we're gonna go ahead and get the feathers. So you can see the feathers are just like big pink feathery fluff balls. So basically what I'm going to do is kind of group them together in threes by using literally, I ended up just using some tape because you know, why not? That's what I had at my house. So we're gonna use some tape. So basically I just grouped them in groups of three and laid them on the tape and then folded the tape together to kind of create trios of little feathery bushels. So you can see we got some finished feathery bushels here, 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 great. Now they're gonna be a little bit more easy to work with. Then what I actually ended up doing to kind of attach them to the outfit was I went ahead and bought some matching pink ribbon at Michael's really quick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of use that to wrap around as almost a belt sort of. So we're gonna take the feathers. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the tape again to tape them right onto the back of the ribbon. So they create kind of like a little flowy pattern here all along the bottom. So then when you can see when I wrap it around the jacket, it creates kind of like a little feathery belt. Go ahead a couple more feathers to make it kind of more full so it all is you know covered because you don't want your you know what hanging out but speaking of we're gonna go ahead actually I don't really want this bottom part to be hanging out either so in the front I'm just gonna go ahead and again tack that part up so you can't see it so again needle and thread boop doo -doo -doo -doo, just like mama taught you until it's all sewn up really quickly so you can just kind of see the feathers will hang over more naturally go ahead and leave it in the back because you don't want it to be too ho you know Last but not least, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna decorate. You can see Cardi's is kind of all over feathery action. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and kind of put them along the lapel of the blazer. Is that what it's called? I think, lapel, hmm, what a nice word. So we're gonna go ahead and just take those and we're gonna needle and thread those again through the tape right onto the lapel, kind of where you want the feathers to stick out a little bit. So that's a little bit difficult, but you can do it just kind of over under again until those are all stuck on there. Kind of line them all the way down the lapel until they create like that bushily, flowing outward uh, ostrich couture looking shenanigan. And then you can see once it's all together here, it actually looks pretty legit. Um, not really sure how legit it's gonna look on, but we'll see. And then to complete the look, I have my favorite little pink Barbie looking pumps here. Authentic Dior, but you know, I got them for 80 bucks on the Real Real. Shout out to them, thank you very much. And actually when I was out at Marshall's last night, look how funny this was. I felt like I was meant to have them. They said my name on the front and were perfect little dupes of Cardi's earrings. So we got some amber crystal earrings here. And you might have noticed that Cardi was wearing purple hair with her outfit and I figured, you know, what could possibly be more extra than matching your wig to your outfit, so. 
And I got a pink wig too. How in heaven's name do I attach this to my head? I literally have no idea, but you know, we're gonna see what we come up with, so stay tuned. And there we have all together our finished Cardi look, so let's uh, see if we can put it on. This is going to be an interesting adventure. Oh my God, are you guys ready for this? Dun, da 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 Oh my God. <laughs> so you guys can see the jacket fits great we have all of the feathers aptly sticking out the side here so fabulous and of course a little bit of cleavage because you know it is cardi's original words that a hoe never gets cold so i don't care that it's march um we're wearing this the feathery skirt too which again is this perfect i mean no not really i also had to tie like an extra ribbon around it to make it look more like a professional belt but you know it still looks pretty dang good i'd say for you know two second craft wig is giving me absolute freaking life i never even thought to match my outfits to my hair but oh my god i don't think i look particularly nice as a blonde but you know um maybe as a pink-headed you know princess i could be into it could you imagine if i just showed up to a business meeting like this or as a substitute teacher i've always wanted to be a sub hi guys welcome to eighth grade shoes are popping off oh my god look at this <gasps> wow sis wow 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 oh my god I'm just gonna scream about this outfit for like 48 years. Oh my god, oh my god! This is honestly a whole ass look, sis. Flamingo at the zoo. The showgirl in Vegas. I'm Cardi frickin' B. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I could twerk, but that's the best I got. Said I like it like that. Boom, boom, boom. How do I somehow look like Hillary Clinton? Fly like a bird, I wanna fly away. One, two, three, one, two, three. I wanna be a chicken, I don't wanna be a duck. I wanna be an ostrich banana. Wow, wow, wow. Somehow I look like a drag queen. Hello, welcome to Alpha Chi Beta Sorority. Sorority president at your service. Also what I would wear if I was running for the actual presidency. Make America glittery again. In all, I would say we McFrickin nailed it. Oh, sis. Bartylicious. Oh my god, this looks like I have multi-platinum records in the background. This is so cool. These are actually my YouTube plaques, so shout out to you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Anyways, the lighting just got weird, so hang on. Oh yes, much better. Well, there you have it, you guys. That was me pretending to be Miss Cardi B, making her outfits for cheap and basically just cosplaying her because, I mean, like I said, it's so fun. So thanks, Cardi, for the inspo. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe for lots more fun celebrity um, inspired DIYs and shopping and whatever other nonsense I want to share with you guys. I love you guys so, so, so very much. I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe I'll go to Trader Joe's just for laughs and giggles like this. And I will see you guys next time. I love you, my sweet, beautiful, fabuloso baby angels. XO. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs>